Amina's Voice by Hannah Khan, Chapter 14. Amina, where are you? Come down here, Mama calls from the kitchen. I slide off my bed and go down the stairs. Mama is wiping the counters down with the rag, even though they are already gleaming. What have you been doing since you came home? Why are you hiding up in your room? Cleaning it. On a Friday afternoon, Mama's eyes narrow. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I stare at my socks. Are you sure? What's the matter? Nothing, I'm fine. I see Mama's concerned expression and try to smile. I don't know how to explain how I'm feeling. It's not exactly sick, but not exactly normal either. I just feel tired. Okay, well, we're taking Thaya John out to dinner tonight. Go run up and get ready. Put on that nice yellow shirt. Where are we going? There's a new Thai restaurant that Baba wants to try. Yum. Thai food is one of my favorites. I love getting noodles with peanut sauce and shrimp and spicy chicken skewers. What about Mustafa? He isn't home yet. I've hardly seen him all week since he's been at practice every afternoon until pretty late. Plus, I've been steering clear of the family room after dinner. I don't want to run into Thaya John. He's going out for pizza with his team after his game tonight. They had to play in Oak Creek. Oh, I'm suddenly less interested in dinner. I picture myself eating my noodles in silence as my parents talk to Thaya John in Urdu about the proper ways to raise children or about Pakistani politics. I go upstairs and dig the yellow shirt out of my dresser, switching on my iPod out of habit. As the music fills the room, my spirits start to lift until Thaya John's words come back to me. Music is forbidden. I quickly turn it off again and sit on my bed, staring at the music books and sheets lying scattered on the floor. I can't shake the uneasy feeling that has settled on me like dust for days. Have I been doing something wrong or un-Islamic by, sending, by spending so much of my time singing and playing piano? Let's go, Amina, Baba calls, jingling his car keys. He always does that when he's in a hurry to leave. When I get to the garage, Vajan is standing next to Baba wearing a white shabar kameez and a black band collar vest on top. He has a black furry hat propped atop his head that looks like a giant paper boat. I figure he dressed up to go to the mosque for Friday prayers and is still in the same clothes. And as mean-spirited as I feel, I wish he weren't here. There you are, Gita, Baba says. Where have you been hiding? Don't you think Galeri is a more suitable name for your daughter today? Thaya John says with a hint of a smile. Baba chuckles in agreement. My cheeks burn and I brush past my uncle and climb into the back seat of the car without saying a word. Is Thaya John making fun of me? Mama gets into the back seat with me, giving Thaya John the front out of respect. That suits me perfectly, since I don't want to be sitting next to him anyway. As we start backing out of the garage, I lean over and whisper to my mother, What does gallery mean? Mama touches my bright yellow blouse and smiles. It means canary. You look like a little songbird. Oh, I don't get the joke or want Thaya John to comment on my shirt, my singing, or anything else about me. The weight of his words presses down on me all over again, and I try to act interested as Mama is super chatty and jokes around with me on a ride, but my heart isn't in it. 